Hey guys, Tony Soy Sass Sass and welcome to another cigar review. So today we are doing uh, Fuente Fuente Opus, Opus X again. And obviously you see the Opus X, it definitely came from Eric. So thank you, Eric, for the cigar. Um, I'm not sure if I did a review on this already, but since I have it in front of me, might as well do it, right? You now, if it's if I done it before, it's truly like a re-review. Okay, review. All right, so let's take a close look on this cigar. So Fuente Fuente Opus X Angel Share Robusto, obviously it's Robusto size, five and a quarter by 50. And it's obviously a Dominican Piro. And um, with, the, with the information being like the Dominican wrapper is a Chateau de la Fuente Sangro. And the binder and the filler are Dominican. And um, the cigar itself looks pretty good. MSRP, I am not too sure, but I think they had about $43 a stick, something like that, some ridiculous amount of money. And because of that, I, I don't actually have that number. It's uh, originally released in what, 2012, so it's been a while. It's been a while. All right, so let's smoke this thing. Um, <coughs> uh, Should I have done that. <clears throat> this is uh I wanna say it's stinky. Woodsy, stinky. Like a fermented something got left for dead kind of stink. But it's woodsy. Oh <clears throat> that choked me a little bit. Ah, uh, shouldn't have smoked the I smelled it, but it smells the Anyways, ribbon, don't care for it. It's weird. Tastes like wine. Like Chardonnay or something like that. I'm not kidding. That's what it tastes like. Light up real quick. I think I forgot something, but I'm just going to light it up real quick. Okay. Woodsy, creamy, a lot of creaminess, sweet. Some white pepper, just a little bit.
Yeah, see you there. That's all I got right now. Sweetness. It's a lot of sweetness. All right, let me smoke one third. Shouldn't be too long. And I'll be right back. Okay, now about roughly one third. I mean, the flavor is not really changing right now. So I think it'll be a good time to say, hey, this is the first third. Now, first third, you get that woodiness. In the, the beginning, there was a lot of sweetness and creaminess. That kind of died down a little bit with the replacement of uh, like a white pepper mixed with like cinnamon taste. cinnamon taste and also a little bit of nuttiness and end of that nuttiness gets you a little bit of raisin taste and i'm talking about a very not sweet raisin but it's raisin taste to me okay and that's all we got for um you know first there is a uh, relatively nice that little bit of bite from the spice is not bad uh, the burn construction, not not problem at all, not a problem at all. Um, but it's missing something. I don't know what it's missing yet. I just feel like it's missing something. It tastes good. It has multitude of flavors, and the flavor each individually are pretty strong. But what is it missing? I don't know what is missing. It's like. Okay, there is something, but am I satisfied? No, I'm not satisfied. I'm not missing. What am I missing? I'm not sure what I'm missing. So, continue to smoke it. Second, third, maybe something will add into it. But right now, I feel like I'm missing something. I don't know what it is. Overall, it's a good cigar right now. It's missing something. So, yeah. We'll be back. Second, third. Okay, second, third. All right. Uh, let's first take a look at the second band. Just that. And just here. That's all you got. You know, all the Opus has this design language. It's pretty much the same. So, like, there's no surprises. And I like the way the band is, like, matte, but yet gold and everything. So, I don't know. I like it. I like it. So, the cigar. Like I say, it's got that raisiny slash berry sweetness right now. It's got the wittiness. It's got that cinnamony, white pepper, and 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 a little bit creamy. Still a little bit creamy. White pepper creeps, and it's nice. But like I say, it's missing something. I don't know what it is, but it's a good cigar. But it's a good cigar, but is it like $40 a cigar? For Robusto? Or 40-something? I, I, I can't get there. I can't get there. It's really tough to get there, especially for what it is. Yeah. Last still left, and I still don't think I can get there. I'm I'm somewhere about... twenty two. $24 right now. Um, in my mind, I was like, oh, you know, how much would I pay for this? You know, $22, $24 right now. We're on the last turn now, so we'll see if that last turn can give a few more bucks, but I, I, I don't think it's going to be 40 for me. Maybe with the box, even with the box, I think in the... No, I can't get to 40 bucks range for this. I do like this thing, like a slightly pale white look. On this go, it actually looks nice. It looks like a like a grand leather back book or something. I don't know. It's it's just pretty nice. I like this color thing more than uh, some of the other bands. Very good stuff. So, Laster, be right back. Okay, Laster. Now, I think what this is one of those blessing and double edged sword kind of thing. Is that the consistency of a Opus X are like that. The whole entire cigar tastes pretty much the same. And that's what it is. The whole entire cigar tastes pretty much the same. So I, I didn't see any different. I didn't get anything different. Pepper went up a little bit. 
Uh, the strength about medium. And, and that's pretty much it on this cigar. It's like not much to it. Oh, now it's burning my nose. So. I can't give it any more. So the price that I'm going to set it at. 20 $23. Twenty three dollars is where I'm gonna stay at. It, 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 it there's not much to it. It's a good cigar, but you leave a lot to be desired. It's missing some bold taste or what something to kind of like wrap this up. It's missing that. It's missing that. So although it's a good cigar, I would say it's kind of also boring. And but if you're looking for a smooth cigar, you're looking for like a like a basic enjoyment, you can. It can enjoy it. It is good tobacco. But it's it's not forty it's not forty something dollar. I I don't see anybody will say, hey, this is a forty dollar cigar, you know. Well, yeah, you did pay forty something dollar, but it's not there. And the last one has a little bit more of that fermented weird taste. Um, it's not nasty. It's just there, you know. Yeah, twenty twenty three dollar twenty three dollars. I'm gonna stay at so. <sighs> And that will be it for this review. Big thanks to uh, Eric for sending me uh, this cigar. Apparently, it's supposed to be rare. Because when I talked to him, he said, oh, it's just rare. No, it's not rare. What rare? He said, maybe. Maybe it's rare. So yeah. And that will be it for this particular review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Check out our podcast, swag, membership. And I'll see you guys next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>